You have an image you want to pan and zoom across your screen. Let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is grab your photo or image that you want to use. Let's do Star Unite. The next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate that. I want to take the neck, the one that's behind it, bring it over and make it really itty bitty bitty bitty. I want to leave it behind the photo and I want to make it transparent. I'm going to put it right behind the photo like so. I'm going to go over to position. I'm going to hit my control key and then I'm going to group the two images. The reason I'm going to group the two images is because I want this image to be movable. I don't want it clicking to the background and this will save it from clicking to the background automatically because as soon as you make it bigger, it's going to snap to the background. So what I want to do now is have my full image on here and this will be my first slide. So the second thing I want to do is I'm going to duplicate the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this extremely small and then I'm going to start to zoom in, I am going to go here, say I want to go into this corner here and zoom in on that corner. I'm going to go into here and then I'm going to duplicate the page. Say I want to make it drift over into this corner and maybe reduce the size a little bit and get this. And then all you're going to do is just move it around how you want to do it. So you can pan, you can zoom in you can zoom back out so we can make it small again put it in another area and then once you've got your positioning the way you want to do it how many times you want to do it what we're going to do now is go let's do that one and another zoom in and pan to here so I've got all my positions I want done. I wanted to go back to my original position that I had in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the first page and then bring that around to the last page. Now that I've got them all set up, what I want to do is go into my transitions. I want to go into match and move. Um, it depends how fast you want it to go. You can change your speed. I always turn them all the way up when I do it. I'm going to apply it between all pages. And let's say I want each page to be like two seconds. So I'm going to put two, enter, apply between all pages. And if you see, sometimes that does not work out. They're not all two. So just do it, do it again, enter, turn it off, turn it back on. And now they're all twos. So now we're going to play through and see what we got. Let's, let's make this big, big, bigger so we can see. And let's get this off of here. Make it a little bit bigger so you can see the whole shebang. So let's play it through. So now we're going to go, we're going to zoom in here. It's panning over to here. It's coming back out, panning over and zooming and back to original state. So that is how you do that. It's real simple, quick, easy. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope to see you again. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Bye, y'all.